What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is just because of that truck. So let's take a look, see what Michael's got. You guys, come on. Parked us right in the hole, apparently. Well, you ain't got your helper with you, so you must have, no? Well, you did sell one, looks like, the green and black one, huh? The orange and black? Yeah, the orange and black, yeah. Well, no, honestly, that one's at the house. Um, we had a guy that was curious about that one, so I loaded it up. So in order to do that, that was the most popular one, so uh, I left it on here. Uh, but uh, we didn't, honestly, we haven't been back on the route until Wednesday morning. So with us fighting COVID and everything, mm -hmm. our first day back was Wednesday. And my daughter, she don't get released till today. So therefore, she's staying home to... Yeah. She'd probably love to be here to tell me to sell more, collect more, but <laughs> um, I come out of quarantine on the uh, the sixth, and she comes out today, so she stayed home to watch her and I guess help her get her schoolwork done and everything. That way right. she don't fall behind. But well, that's good. You guys whooped it and back to normal. And yeah, back to normal. That's uh. As normal as can be. You know, that's what we put on Facebook. You know, we, we appreciate everybody calling, texting, and trying to help us get it back to normal yeah. as quick as it, as we can. It's definitely unexpected. We didn't know that it was going to happen. Didn't know that it had happened until you know we. I've got some uh, elderly people that we go to on Christmas, and she had some you know cold symptoms and stuff, and she wanted to get it knocked out before we went down there and it come. That's when we realized, oh, wait a minute, this is more than just a cold, but yeah. that's okay. It's run its course in our house. Our youngest two didn't get it. Uh, that's great, and we'll we'll move on and make business normal again. There you go. As, as best as we can. Well, I'm glad to see that you got the flag fixed that way. We did. We, uh, that was like every single video somebody would say something. I'm yeah, like, we guys, did. he's covered it a hundred times. There's a doorway behind him. He can't have it right both well, ways. So. We've actually got, uh, we've got the one behind it turned for right for the road. And then this was actually a Christmas present from you. So we was able to <laughs> get it back right, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was almost every video. Um, yeah. So we, we had talked about getting one anyway, but it, uh, Christmas gift turned out to work great. So <laughs> we was able to get that fixed up. Yeah, I told my wife, you know, our son's in the Air Force, and we ordered a nice one and then an Air Force flag. And I said, just just, just get two of them. She's like, two of them? I was like, yep, Mark, Matt Co. Michael needs one on that's, his truck bag. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and, you know, it, it, was, it was a simple fix, and I could have did it a whole lot earlier but you know uh -huh. sometimes you just let them talk for a little while and see if they <laughs> ever get that you know like there's a right up. i know there's a right and a wrong but sometimes there's two rights and two wrongs and it all depends on how you yep. look at it right <clears throat> that's true so you know it's uh, you know it's one of those things you know uh well unless we had done that from the beginning you were going to be right and wrong both times mm -hmm. so yeah, if you was wrong in here, I had to walk outside and you was right. Yeah, so, yeah, so, you know, <laughs> you're true. I guess That's the right, right thing would have been by two at the same time, but yeah, I never would have thought that uh, it had been that hard to explain, you know, right out here, wrong in there, and, yeah. you know, but, you know, it is what it is. All of my customers knew and stuff, so. Yeah, and I think we covered it like almost every video there for a couple <laughs> of weeks. Well, um, with as many viewers and stuff that watch, I guess it, you can miss videos pretty easy. You know? Yeah, that's true. Uh, I try to look at most videos. Um, that way I can see some of the questions to see if I can get an answer to them pretty quick. Uh, sometimes it's pretty quick and sometimes it has me stumped for a little while. So, <laughs> you know, that is what it is. Well, shot glasses are cool. Yeah, those uh, were supposed to be Christmas gifts. Um, we were going to sell them as Christmas gifts. And had a lot of people interested in them, but 
they showed up the day before we got quarantined, so we didn't really get to sell a whole lot of them. Wow. But that's okay, because birthdays still come around. Oh, yeah. And, um, if, if we still got them, say, mid-year, then we'll put them back for, I don't know if y'all remember the Bust My Balls promotion mm -hmm. that we did two years ago. We didn't get to do it this year because, well, I was lazy, I guess. We'll, you know, I, I didn't shop in time, I guess. Um, so if we still got them, there'll be prizes for some kind of giveaway. We're trying to figure out what our next big giveaway is. Yeah. Um, being that we were sick for two weeks and we missed two weeks, we want to do something. because We, we did have a lot of people who uh, called and still made payments and you know even made double payments to try to help us out. So that was really great. So we want to do something that kind of rewards yeah. everybody for for doing that and just you know start the new all year off with a bank so but well, that's true we do have a new tool this week um you've probably seen them Mako's already posted them um I, I just got them in this week but they're 90 degree plastic clip pliers mm -hmm. um I've heard a lot of people saying that they're going to use them to pull fuses and stuff too I guess they can be as uh, used for whatever you want to use them on. Whatever you want to use them on. The 90 degree, uh, it, in my opinion, or wait a minute, I'm sorry, 80 degree. 80 degree pliers, I figure that's going to help in several situations, um, especially when you're doing interior work. Um, and, and possibly even uh, some different like uh, hose clamp designs and stuff like this. But right. with the, the clips, it's, it's got... It's made to have a little hole in the center there, so it's it's going to work to grab the actual mm -hmm. plastic clip up top. Right. So um, I figure, like doing headliners and stuff like that, this is going to come in handy. Yeah. It's it's not something that every tech wants to do. I liked interior work just because, um, I, I guess I just liked it. I don't know, but um, I know a lot of people don't like interior work. Yeah, I don't work. like interior um, work either. But I was weird. I liked electrical and interior work. So um, I like electrical, but I don't like dealing with those little plastic clips. Yeah. And then, especially like Chevrolets, the little, the way the they push in and lock into the, like the trim pieces. Yeah. You know? Seems like that plastic always breaks. Well, and see, and and when I <clears throat> when I first got started, when I when I moved from uh, different areas of the dealership. The first one of the first things they had me doing was Toyota had a sunroof pop. Uh, they had a sunroof pop that come out, so we had to pull the headliners to fix it. But then they also had a actual headliner issue to where it was uh, sagging in the back, so we had to replace headliners for that. And then they turned right around, and the headliners that were replaced because of that were sagging by the sunroof, so we had to replace them again. Oh man! That so. Was such um, you know, they, they, they eventually figured out that, oh, we can just glue magnets to it and it'll fix the sunroof issue. But we did replace probably 50 to 60 headliners that we had already replaced once because of the around the sunroof before they come out with the magnets. So I guess that being the only thing I did for probably a year, I just, I got good at it. And when you're good at something, you like doing it, I guess. Yeah. I, mean, I guess you can get burned out because there's a lot of good mechanics out there that just not doing it anymore because they burnt herself out but I guess I got out of the interior work before it was at that <laughs> before point. Before it was that bad. Yeah. But, you know, in, interior work for the most part I stayed clean. I didn't have to, you know, mm -hmm. uh, worry about the grease or the oil because um, I'm going to tell you some of the other cars we worked on if they wasn't brand new um, I don't think anybody ever washed the engine bay or anything and right. you know axle grease everywhere oil everywhere you know that's it's you know it's I know I know it's not the worst thing ever to get grease and dirt on you and stuff. But when you can do interior work and then go to lunch and never have to walk, you know never yep. have to Scrub stand at down. the sink for yep. 45 minutes, that's great, you know. But that's true. Um, there is downfalls to interior work. You know you can scratch something and it costs a thousand dollars and it only be that big, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, take your time and it, it was okay. But these will help on a lot of those pliers, uh, or a lot of those pliers, a lot of those clips. Um, now some of them, some of them are going to break regardless. Right. Um, that's about the the worst thing I know of is when you got to take a clip out and it break, and then 
now a job that you're supposed to finish in an hour, you're having to wait a day and a half on a clip oh, or something. Part, yeah. uh, which true. I know I know parts houses have got really good about having the clips and stuff now. I, I know I'll, I had to go to Napa to get some oil and it, they had a whole section of nothing but clips, clips yep. you know. So, and it, they were labeled, you know, Toyota clips, Ford clips, mm -hmm. and I, I guess that's great, but that's my new tool. I do have something else newer, but it's not released yet, so I'm gonna wait a little while on it. Okay. Um, it's gonna release uh, on down on down the line, so everybody can get their hopes up about it. But I'm not gonna tell what it is. So it's cool though. Yeah, it's cool. It is cool. <laughs> um, I think our people will really enjoy it. Yeah, I think I think a lot of people are gonna like it. Um, but you know, everybody's gonna have their ideas of what it is and. Some will be right and some will be wrong, but uh, there's some new cool things coming. Yeah, yeah. There's a and there and there's uh, at least four of them that we know yeah, of. Yeah, there's uh, <laughs> there's four that I know of, uh, and that's just what they've let me know about. So yeah, I'm sure there's more. Um, we are still gonna have Expo this year, so there's still gonna be new stuff. It's it's been moved back to May, so we have to wait a little longer for it. Um, but that's okay. They're trying to make sure that people from Canada and some other places can still come. Right. Where's um, it going to be this year? Uh, Florida. Oh, yeah. Uh, good. I think Orlando is where they said it was going to be at. Yeah. Y'all can go down there and eat at that Boston Lobster Feast. Y'all need to go there if you're in Orlando. Well, I'm sure... Um, you'll, I'm sure. you'll be very happy. If you like seafood, you'll be I happy. I don't like seafood. Oh, you're not going to like it then. Just my, now my it. wife, she will be super, super happy. But me, I, I if it don't walk in a field somewhere, I don't. Everything, it. seafood, they've got it on there, and you yeah. can get all you want. It don't matter if you want to just eat crab legs or if you just want to eat lobster. It's yeah. all there. That's great. So we went to when we went to uh, San Diego. Uh, she wanted all she wanted the whole trip was fish tacos. That's all she wanted. Right. Somehow we never found fish tacos. Really? Um, well, she did. Um, but she, you know, she's that type to where if I want to eat there, she's not going to go, and yeah. she'll eat just about anywhere. Uh, I'm just not a, a fish person at all. I love it. I, I don't, I don't know. We've done discuss my eating habits. They're weird. <laughs> it is what it is. So. Man, I, it, as long as something has to give up its life for me to eat, I'm happy with it. <laughs> you know, I'm not as crazy about chicken. See, like chicken's the the very bottom of the the barrel for me. But and I don't know. I've you know. Chicken's one of my high points, you know. It's it's steak and then chicken, yeah. steak and chicken. That's it. I'm, I'm a cow guy, then fish, then pig, and then chicken's <laughs> way on down there. Uh, hey, if it if it walks around on land, I'm good. I'll eat it. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, I say that. There's probably a lot of things that I wouldn't venture to to try, but I don't know. that's that's one of those things. There ain't no telling what we've eaten. We don't really know we've eaten it. Yeah. Well. Uh, <laughs> I guarantee you there's been some stuff yeah. mixed in that we have never thought about and wouldn't want to eat, but we do. Well, in hard times, you'll eat what you what you can get, I guess. Yep. I mean, I'm not going to turn it down if I'm hungry. That's true. Well, I guess we're going to turn this thing off and get back to work. And uh, you guys be waiting. we got some pretty cool stuff that I think you all like coming out. Matco has, has really done done good with this batch i guess is the best way to put it so. yeah yeah all right guys like always thanks for watching if you liked the video be sure to hit that thumbs up check over here for merchandise cool tools and discount codes are down here if you're not subscribed you take your finger and press that button just press it y'all have a great week and we will catch y'all next time see ya